Great. So we should be live and we're here. There we go. Hi, Lena. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Good. What time is it on your side of the world? It's at 10 p.m. I'm in Germany. Throwing Thanks for showing outside. up late. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for showing up late. It's nice of you. Okay. So, um, we're going to be talking about your experience um, in the journey of resetting yourself. And before we get to the resetting part, I'd love to for everyone to really know a little bit more about you before that. So when did you start acting? How old were you when you started acting? <laughs> my first memory of me acting is actually back in my children's room. I used mm -hmm. to act out like my my children's books. I loved playing the evil wizard. And one story, mm -hmm. I still have that costume. Um, but then I took acting classes when I was like 14 or something. Mm -hmm. I finished school and then I went to acting school. So, yeah. And now I'm yeah. 32. So I've got. So, so all your life. It sounds like it was all your life. And how was acting school for you? It was an experience. Mm -hmm. um just talked about it with a friend actually before we started the interview because um it was actually a tough time mm -hmm. and it of course it it was amazing for for everything um mm -hmm. but it wasn't easy really yeah. had to dig deep and then of course the um the other students it wasn't always easy and so on so I went out of acting school and I did some projects um, while still in training and found an agency pretty early on. And then I went, I got out of acting school and I felt pretty alone with, in the industry. I felt a bit lost and mm -hmm. I kind of lost this momentum mm -hmm. that I had gained during training. And mm -hmm. then it took me a while to really like find my find my direction mm -hmm. and that's like in the last two years I've done a lot of work mm -hmm. with finding a new agency and and working on myself and really getting to all that shit and mm -hmm. that's done an amazing amount for me mm -hmm. but I still had this feeling of okay there there are things that I can't um like get over just by by a coaching where you talk about stuff and you do some what what were these things that you couldn't get over like um mm -hmm. memories stored in my body mm -hmm. because our bodies remember stuff that our brains don't mm -hmm. and sometimes you have weird reactions and you can't explain them so you have mm -hmm. to like dig in from a different direction and so does that school, mean that uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you but just to make sure that everyone's following does that mean yeah. that when you were auditioning or when you were acting mm -hmm. you sometimes had reactions or lack of reactions like blocks and you weren't able to control them and acting school kind of didn't explain that part of the past stuff coming back into the present no, I had these reactions when I was in, in private moments. It was not in, not in acting related stuff because okay. on set and when I'm working in a, in a team where I feel safe, then it's no problem. But these are like, these are things the moments that still in block between. me. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They blocked me as an actress. And I noticed that I, I couldn't really like go forward and just experiment and, and, I lost the fun mm. through the years, like everything that happened, like dampened it. And it was all about like booking and it, yeah, it was just not nice anymore. And I, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have a friend, we actually did the reset together. Oh, wow. he, um, he introduced me to your work. Okay. And I had this feeling that because we had, talked about acting a lot and done some mm -hmm. work together and so on and I had a feeling well she knows me really well and yeah. I'm sometimes a bit shy with like getting this stuff that I 
want and need and I thought mm -hmm. well this is actually this feels good uh, to me mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's something I can work with um, mm -hmm. to get me to the next level because I need okay. to like take my body with me. Yeah, with me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. So that's why you decided to to reset yourself to do the take yeah. yourself on this journey was because you were feeling that there was something up, but you weren't sure what it was and it was kind of impacting yeah. your life and your acting and it was yeah. taking away the fun yeah in a way it takes out the energy out of you right it saps yeah. it out because it's stuck yeah. in the past okay and so how was the experience of the reset journey for you how was it to reset yourself to back to your childlike connected self it was an adventure definitely um mm -hmm. it was scary as hell because mm -hmm. of course you I, I had to like sit with everything that came up and that was pretty ugly and sometimes you want to hide the ugly parts like from yourself even mm -hmm. because you're not you don't feel like strong enough to really yeah, sit to, with them to be with that so, yeah yeah exactly and um like by doing the reset I I gained a new kind of access to to everything that's inside and to um, yeah, just working with what's there, mm -hmm. using it and not yeah. um, trying to like, because you always give so much of yourself into every character that you play mm -hmm. and by like not being okay with some parts, I also... Mm -hmm. um, like kept the the range that I could play I kept it smaller yeah. yeah yeah let's say I think it's a great analogy let's say you're this being and um there's things that happen in the past trauma and experiences that we wish we didn't have but we all have some and and so you leave these parts behind because they're too scary to feel and no one you know teaches us how to feel these things and how to deal with these things because in our culture it's all about not feeling it's about doing well and staying positive and being confident and looking good and pleasing others so we're not in a culture where you're encouraged to feel anything and so you are leaving those things behind and then this other thing happens and this, this, so you end up being this being right yeah, and now exactly. you're showing up you're showing up with this and you're usually needing five, you know, limbs and yeah. you have, let me try again, you have two left. And so exactly. when you're trying to show up this way in your life or in your acting, in your art, it's tremendously difficult. Like how can you show up for this character authentically if that character also has this part? You've repressed and abandoned this part for a very long yeah. time. So you have no real access to it. So what are you going to do for this character who needs this? You're going to have to push it, fake it, and then it's not fun, right? Exactly. Definitely. So exactly. The work, in a way, the work of resetting is to really, wait, uh, if that's it, the work of resetting is to kind of do this and start going there, right? Going into those yeah. resistances and undoing that and then helping yes. it find its strength again so that you can show up that way. Yeah. That's you just said it perfectly because that's exactly what it feels like on the outside. Mm -hmm. It just looks like, yeah, you're showing some fingers, but on the inside, yeah. it feels all knotted and like, yeah, really. Yeah. 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 And that's, yeah, it's true. Yeah. By the way, even for me to actually do this is really like, yeah, I can't have a, yeah. I can't, my hand can't be upright and straight. It's knotted. It's sticky. It's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm squashed it's 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 I wouldn't say it's broken because you're never broken your truth is still there it's hiding mm -hmm. behind but it's definitely is squandered a word maybe okay maybe it wasn't a word but maybe it is yeah it's, it's yeah. definitely challenging to show up that way to have fun that way to impact <laughs> an audience that way to have some stamina and some life force definitely yeah, yeah. definitely and I also like really try to like build the awareness of when am I like blocking my own energy by not going through the resistance because yeah. it really 
like if you like resist doing something this resistance spills over and that yeah. makes you go like on the inside yeah definitely definitely so how does it now feel to be reconnected to your truth to your childlike self to like it like how does it feel to be that connected like when we're children before all the stuff happened when we really just are who we are in our body in our emotions in our sensations in our truth how does it feel it's pretty exciting actually because i still have to get used to it yeah because i frequently find myself in situations where i know i wouldn't have been so honest in the past and now i just like it just comes out yeah and yeah. i sometimes it's, it's like whoa okay i'm right. really yeah. surprised mm -hmm. Which is yeah. what you want as an artist, as an actor, you know, definitely you want to be on stage mm -hmm. and not know what's going to happen. You want the life to be ahead of you, not for you, your mm -hmm. head to be ahead of the life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So it's surprising. Mm -hmm. Is it fun again? It's well, it's not always fun, of course, because um, mm -hmm. sometimes you get bad surprises as well. But yeah, um, it's um it's definitely more alive. It's more intense because like when you're all knotted up inside of yourself, yeah. you're busy being knotted. Yeah. Attending because, the knots. Yeah. 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 And you don't have this like awareness and openness to what's happening around you. And that makes you a worse actress or actor. Yeah. Yeah, you're not aware of the creativity of everything that's possible of the impulses. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. not adapt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This is my new thing now. This is how I'm going to explain everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Great. Um, is there anything that you would add, like to add about um, resetting yourself and the experience of that or the outcome of that? For anyone, think also of anyone who maybe is, you know, at a stage in their acting career, whether it's in the beginning or whether it's, you know, they're working nonstop, but who is feeling this unease, this, we call it dis-ease in our culture, right? That, like something's wrong, like something's missing, like something's blocking. There's no happiness when I'm acting and it, like I know I'm not a hundred percent and then maybe they're listening to us considering this but resetting is the opposite of every single acting method and technique it's the mm -hmm. it's really unlearning techniques and undoing methods and undoing conditioning so it's really going back to nothing so you know some people may have concerns about how strange this is and it's online and it's international and like they're not sure so mm -hmm. is there anything that you would like to share about your experience? Because you had a very intense experience. Um, I, did. I did. That would, oh. that would, and not to try to speak to everyone, because that's why we have interviews. You know, your experience will speak to some, another experience will speak to others. Mm. But in your truth, is there anything else that you would like to share? Mm. Well, basically by doing the reset i gained like some more freedom within myself to choose to make better choices for myself and i think like with regards to the um methods and so on um i, I was never a fan of doing just one method or this or mm -hmm. that um but i think having more freedom internally like gives you a better view of your choices so you can pick whichever method feels good for you and I mean that's like in the moment different mm -hmm. for everybody exactly yeah mm -hmm. so that's definitely one thing and well, by doing the reset I think it's, it's also good for people who are not um, actors necessarily yeah. um, because by doing all these exercises um 
you get more connected with yourself and you get more aware of what you need. And I think that's important for everybody to really like feel what does my body need? What does my soul need to mm -hmm. get through this day in the best way possible? And yeah, like definitely. That. So, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah, yeah a I huge think impact it's on, on everything. Yeah. 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 I wish, I wish, uh, you know, kids were educated in a way where um, they don't get conditioned so that everyone can just be actually connected to their soul and their emotions, because if they're not, you know, it's kind of besides the purpose of being alive. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're not in your body, you're not in your heart, you're not in your soul, you're not in your emotions, you're disembodied from yourself, connected more to what authorities want of you, connected to pleasing, connected to staying safe. They're just coping mechanisms, but they're not truly living. So yeah, I yeah. wish that um, soon education will change and will encourage um, children to actually really root themselves into themselves and not outside. And that will be in a, oh. yeah, a world with, with authentic, true people. That would be incredible. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for sharing yourself, Lena. Thank you for thanks sharing for your journey. Me. Yeah, and, yeah, and thanks for doing it. You've had a very challenging experience. You had a lot to move through and you mm -hmm. stuck around because you believed in yourself and you believed in your truth and in what you were capable of and in, in the stories you have to tell. I want to also say, I say this a lot in the community, but if you're not going to you know, be 100% yourself, then you're not going to be 100% your characters. There's no way you can do that. You're not telling stories 100%. It can't impact anyone 100%. So it's in a way, you know, I, I, I want to make sure that you know um, that everyone knows that you're, with, with everything you do, you're impacting yourself, your experience, the audience, um, your energy, et cetera. So it's, it's really crucial to actually show up in that grand way. Um, I want to say to the people who are interested and who are watching this video that you can send us DMs um, in the comments. You can ask us questions if this is resonating and if it feels that like this could be helpful to reset yourself. Uh, also, if you want to start with a free training in the about section, in the link in the bio on Instagram or in the comments on YouTube, you can find a free training that's called Stop trying to be a good actor so here you have a chance of being great. Um, and yeah, you can start it there or get in touch with us right away. There's also a wait list link in the sections that I mentioned where you can sign up and we'll let you know when we're opening enrollment. Um, but yeah, thanks so much, Lena, for sharing yourself and for meeting with me so late. I appreciate and I'm sure um, a lot of people will appreciate in time your, your interview. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Um, you're welcome. Um, all right, so let me...